good Thursday morning. I am Marshall Blaylock. I'm the pastor of First Baptist Church coming to you this morning from St. John's Lutheran Church as part of the Lenten series of daily devotionals in Psalm 22. I'm here with my colleagues from all the five churches in the downtown area that are doing this. And I want to bring you a word today from the 22nd verse of the 22nd Psalm. It says, I will declare your name to my brothers in the congregation. I will praise you. I will declare your name to my brothers. In the congregation, I will praise you. If you recall, over the first 21 verses, the focus of that has been from the very first verse where where the prayer of Jesus and in the text of Psalm 22, the prayer of David is, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? It's our belief that when Jesus spoke those words from the cross, from Psalm 22, he knew the whole chapter. And we believe the text of Psalm 22 is something he prayed silently from the cross after vocally saying the very first verse. And what you can see in verse 22 is the atmosphere of the chapter changes. It, it, for these first 21 verses, the focus has been on the agony, the pain, the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross. Here in 22, and from the rest of the chapter, you'll see The atmosphere changes altogether. He looks forward here as he prays this particular text to being able to be with his brothers and sisters in the faith. He he looks forward to that first Easter Sunday where he would announce to the women and then later to the disciples the glory of God and the resurrection in his own heart and life. He looked forward to that day. It recalls to us that great verse in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, where he says, We're we're called upon to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and has sat down now at the right hand of the Father. You see in that verse the two sides of the coin, the coin, the two sides of the coin that are found here in this particular chapter in Psalm 22, the agony of the cross, but the joy set before him. What was that joy as he describes it here as he prays through this particular verse? The joy of being with his brothers and sisters to declare the glory of the Father. To declare the glory of the one who had given his life for their sins. He looked forward to that joy. Joy of fellowship. This year, because of the COVID restrictions, we're doing daily devotionals by email or Facebook or YouTube, whatever way you're getting these in your own church setting. And we're doing this where it's as safe as possible. Normally, if this were a regular year, we'd be gathering in sanctuaries each Wednesday during Lent and worshiping together. So this year, this whole year now, it's been a year since we've started all this, it's complicated and difficult. But on the cross, Jesus envisioned being together to give God praise. And so today, it's important for you to remember that when he gave God this praise, you were in mind. He declared his glory to all the nations, including you and me. He had you in mind for the joy set before him, fellowship with you. So this morning, I encourage you to give him the praise worthy of his name. No matter what's happening in your life, on the cross with all the things happening, he he envisioned giving praise in the fellowship of believers. So today, whatever's taking place, give God praise. And then on Sundays when we gather, Lord willing, you're able to gather in person. Let's offer God our praise. God's blessing for a great Thursday.